Hey everyone, I uh, just wanted to show you how I got these Reef Breeder Photon V2s to uh, hang on my uh, extruded T-slot aluminum frame. Uh, so I'm sure many people in the hobby are familiar with this extruded aluminum material that allows you to attach just about anything to it. Um, it's it's lightweight, it's sturdy, um, and I don't know, I, I've seen a lot of people starting to build their aquarium stands out of it and uh, all that kind of stuff. Uh, for me, it's just the light, the light fixture rack, and uh, I'm very pleased with the material. However, <clears throat> when I got most of these... Uh, most of these fixtures that have those M6 uh, hanging kits, so here I'll show you which hanging kits I'm talking about. Um, so right here, this hanging kit that we have this old uh, original Reef Breeders 1 hanging from, you know, they got the little aluminum carabiners up there, and then they've got like four anchor points down here and you can adjust the height. So those are the hanging kits I'm talking about. We see those quite a bit now with the uh, uh, with many different brands of light fixtures and the threading on those is M6 alright but they're never they're not very long they're maybe only about five mil in length and it's not long enough to get over this hump here there's a little rise and then thread into a t-nut for this aluminum so what I had to do was I had to purchase what's called the standoff and these are them so these are m6 standoffs they are threaded uh, for female thread on one side and male thread on the other side and the spacer length on th this particular one that i ordered is 10 mil or one centimeter um, it was very hard to find these um, online in the right size Again, the threading has to be M6 unless you're going to do some sort of other adapter for the hanging kit. And then, uh, you know, I, I needed to make sure I could find one that was longer. Uh, I guess standoffs are a lot more popular in smaller sizes for electronic boards. Um, but finding them more at a size for, like, aquarium hardware was very difficult. I also could not find any in stainless steel or aluminum so these are zinc coated and I'm running the risk that they may rust later on however I think they're a good amount above the aquarium and that they um, that they uh, probably will only be used for I don't know as long as the lights so lights usually start going out what after about five years or so that's how long my last ones lasted so we'll see uh, if I got to order new ones and replace them in a few years not a big deal um, I just I like having my lights nice and tidy like these things so this is the site that I had to use to get them the company is called TME and it is an electronics distributor um, so the uh, the uh, name of it was a Dremic 229 by 10. All right, and what took me a while to settle on these was the way it's worded. So if I scroll down here, you'll see that it says um, uh, somewhere in here it said 13 millimeters because that was how wide it was, um, which is fine. That's the size of the hexagonal stock is 13 millimeters across um, but you know the external thread is important as well as the uh, span the spacer length so one centimeter meaning it will raise something up by one centimeter um, and they're also calling these uh, screwed paper uh, sorry a screwed spacer sleeve rather than a standoff I've always referred to them as standoffs in the past and I think most of the places online do as well but for this one it's a screwed spacer sleeve uh, 229 by 10 gave enough height to mount it onto this aluminum so all I had to do is take that and uh, screw it onto the screws of the light fixture 
and then attach it to a T-nut and then slide the fixture onto my T-slot aluminum. Uh, the T-nuts I used for this project were these flat ones here. All right. Um, I bought these ones this time because they were cheaper and uh, you know in the past I've used those thicker ones uh, I've used several different types of t-nuts in the past I really like these flat ones for this kind of project because it allows me to slide these lights so let's see if I can do this here with one hand but simple as that they slide very nice and easily uh, they're still sturdy uh, kind of helps me if I want to get them out of the way when I'm doing like maintenance or something. So yeah, there moves it back. So yeah, that's how I did it. Uh, I'll put a link to the website where I got those standoffs, and then I got the T nuts from 8020.net. So uh, that's the kind of the leading manufacturer of this T slot aluminum stuff and all of its hardware. Um, so that it, it's not it's not very hard to find and um yeah so you know thanks for watching just wanted to show you uh, the updates on this build so uh have a good one thanks for watching